I have an update for you. Nonplanar top layer fuzzy skin is now available for Prusa Slicer, Orca Slicer and Bamboo Studio and it's usable from directly within the slicers. For those who missed my last video about this topic, here is a quick recap. Fuzzy skin is a setting in most common slicers, where the hot end wiggles around to create an interesting surface finish to the outer contours. Unfortunately, it isn't available for flat top surfaces and I changed that. With my script applied, the printhead moves up and down to recreate the same fuzzy look on the top surfaces. Well now, how does it work and what's new? The last version was a standalone Python script. Now you can use it directly in the slicers. It's also able to read the slicers fuzzy skin settings. The recent settings were the following. Resolution, which controls the size of segments a line turns into. Set min, sets the minimum displacement a segment can get. I suggest not going below zero as otherwise the nozzle will dig into the last layer. Set max sets the maximum displacement a segment can get. Connect walls determines whether the first and the last segment should be displaced or not. Turning this on helps to keep the lines connected to the inner walls of your print. The new settings are run, which is used to enable or disable the script. And compensate extrusion, which when it's turned on calculates how much more material it needs to extrude to compensate for the added distance. This helps the layer bonding to the last one. How to install. Download the corresponding script for your preferred slicer from my GitHub repository linked in the description. First of all, you need to look up your path to Python. You can do that in the terminal which you can access if you press Windows R and type CMD. Then type where Python and you get the path. If this doesn't work, you probably haven't installed Python yet. In this case, you can get it from python.org. It is also linked in the description. Now how to install. In Prusa Slicer, go to Print Settings and then Output Options. There you can add a post-processing script. For that you need to add your path to Python and then the path to where you saved the script. In Orca Slicer, you can go to the Others tab and then you can add your post-processing script by adding the path to Python and the path to where you saved your script. In Bamboo Studio, it works the same as in Orca Slicer. Go to the Others tab and then you can add your post-processing script by adding the path to Python and the path to where you saved your script. Now how to use it. This part works the same way in Array Slicer. If you have Fuzzy Skin turned on, the script will automatically run and takes the Fuzzy Skin point distance as resolution and the Fuzzy Skin thickness as the set max value. Connect to walls and compensate extrusion are on per default. You can override each of the settings. Let's say you want the script to run even if you not have fuzzy skin on. You can easily do that by adding minus run one behind your script. If you have fuzzy skin on but don't want it on the top surfaces, do minus run zero. The same works with every setting. Minus set max needs a number. Minus set min needs a number two, and as I said before, I suggest not going below zero. Minus connect walls needs to be 1 or 0. Minus compensate extrusion needs to be 1 or 0 too. And minus run needs to be 1 or 0. The script always uses the overridden settings if they exist. The script runs if you save the sliced file. A terminal window will pop up. This is normal and it means that the script is running as expected. You will not see the changes in the slicer preview. If you want to see them, just take the G-code and drag it into the slicer. Now what are the future plans? First of all, thank you all for the great feedback I got from you. I was overwhelmed because it got so much interest. That's why I will keep working on it. But now I need you to test this on different printers with different settings and share your results to eliminate bugs. You can share your results in my subreddit linked in the description or you can open issues on GitHub. As for my part, I'm currently working on a Cura version and hope to release it soon. I'm also working on making fuzzy skin overhangs possible. As I got the most requests for Orca Slicer, I've started looking into Orca Slicer's code to eventually implement it there and make a pull request which will hopefully be accepted. That would then mean that it will be a default functionality. If that is done, I want to do the same for Prusa Slicer and Bamboo Studio. 
If you want to support me, please consider leaving a like and a comment and maybe also subscribe. Thank you all for watching and happy printing!